Hi everyone, Thomas here and welcome back to another video. So today I'm back here for another speed build and today we are doing a base game start at home. Now I haven't done a base game build on my channel yet, I don't think, so I'm a little bit surprised by that. I thought I would have had something like that out done before. Um, but I built this because I know a lot of you don't actually have any of the packs for The Sims 4 or just not a lot of them. So I thought this would be a really good idea to for some of you to download this if that's what you um when you have. So um, I'm going to talk you through the build in a second, but you can head over to my origin ID on the gallery, which is real Thomas if you want and you can go ahead and download that for yourself. I've also got to speak a little bit about the gallery which I'll do in a minute um, and yeah so with this house I wasn't really too sure about it. I, I like <laughs> it was just the shape of it was kind of a little bit weird. Um, on the front, it's I think it's the front bit that I'm not too sure about. Let me know what you thought about that because um, you know how I have two dormers on the roof, which as you can't see at the minute, like this roofing, uh, as you can see on screen now, is an absolute mess. I don't even know what I was thinking. But um, once we get the finished uh, product done for the outside, you'll be able to see that I have two dormers on the top. I think that's what they're called anyway. And then underneath, I have on the front porch, I have the same window that I use. And I don't know if that front window looks right on that bit of roof that comes out there on that porch bit I don't know let me know what you thought about that because it seemed like a bit of a big area to leave blank but that was the only thing that kind of fit there and I'm, like I didn't know what to do so let me know in the comment section down below about what you thought of that and the build actually another thing I did with this build I used blue which is something I've never really done before in a build I, it just isn't really a color I seem to be very natural at least where I live it's more like brick colors and kind of like what like suburban type of houses so I don't know I've never really seen blue houses before actually so I mean well I have actually when I've not in my area but you know it just it's just a little bit unusual for me to do something like this so um I always kind of keep to neutral colors in bricks and just like paneling but I thought well this is paneling but it's a different wait that's weird how I say paneling pa panel in oh my god <laughs> moving on so i just wanted to switch it up a little bit and i thought it'd be a nice fun thing to do just to have a more of a brighter color i suppose um we also got a bit more money left over so i did put a um a little porch area in the back there's only a barbecue and one like seating area out there but i mean as you get more money you could easily expand that a little bit i'm sorry if there's a little bit of lag due in this bill because um I don't know what's happened, but it seemed to be jumping a lot during my actual recording process as well. And I'm looking at the playback screen now, my editor, it seems to be lacking a bit. And that's, well, because I've been, I don't know if this video is up yet, but I built this kind of like suburban family home, which I've got a story to tell. That was the thing I mentioned at the start about the gallery. Um, and uh, that took up, that took six and a half hours to build in over 500 gigabytes of hard drive space. Um, but I've kind of like removed most of that there, but it seems to get a little bit more lag on my computer now since doing that build. So I don't know what's happening. I'm going to have to try and figure that out before I do another uh, video, but hopefully that isn't going to continue for much longer. Um, I think it's only in build mode I see it, so I hope, hopefully it's not going to be much of a big problem. So anyway, that thing about the gallery that I was saying, um, I actually post like videos like things I do in my videos like create sims and speed builds um mostly well if I remember I put them on the gallery so and I always do that before the video goes up kind of like a um, I don't know you just get an early access to it because what I seem to do is if I did if I didn't put it up straight away it would I'll probably forget to go back into my game and do it if you know what I mean so I always put it up early when I actually record the video and then it's up a couple of days you know later before the speed build or creators and goes up you know what I mean so um make sure you follow me on the gallery my username like I said is real thomas tv one on there which is also the same as my twitter where you can get you know behind the scenes and information about upcoming videos so make sure you follow me there as well so yeah that's a good place to get early access things and one thing, like, I was actually doing this build, and this was recorded uh, just a do after the Suburban Family Home, which I might not be up yet. My recording schedule is just a mess at the minute. I'll talk about that in a second. Um, so, yeah, like, I went on there. I looked at my page because I had been uploading a couple of things that day, so I just wanted to see if I got any comments or anything like that, which I didn't, I mean, of course. I never really get comments on the gallery. Anyway, um, <laughs> so I looked, and I had 100, over 100 downloads, and I was like, what? Like, I've never had that many downloads on a build before on the gallery. So this is for the suburban home. And I was just in total shock. I couldn't believe it. I, <laughs> I just, I don't even know. Because we have, like, any followers on there. So I don't know how that many people would be interested. I mean, from the newest, like, the most, not most popular, oh my god. Not most popular at all. <laughs> the um, newest buildings, you know, on the gallery. Anyway. The latest things that's been uploaded, They're probably found on there. But anyway, I was in total shock about that. So thank you for everyone who's been downloading that if you're watching the video. Um, but yeah, so let's talk a little bit more about the build. Because, oh, one more thing. Uh, well, I'm going to talk about my recording schedule, like I just said. Then we'll get on with the build. So, um, what I've been like recording a lot recently. Like, I've just had so much, like, inspiration to do builds and stuff. It's been recording, like, non-stop for, like, this week. It was currently the 2nd of February that I'm recording this video. I don't know when it's going up. Probably soon, though. Um, and I've... Like, I've just had so many videos, like, recorded. It's all, 
like a mess and like some of the videos that I'm recording knew it are going to mess and then the older ones are kind of getting put behind you if you know what I mean so it's all like a mess really so I'm talking about things in one video and I might say mention about another video which hasn't even gone up yet so it is a little bit of a messy one I mean that doesn't really make sense I don't <laughs> I don't think it does actually anyway let's move on to the bill because I haven't actually talked about that yet I feel like in my builds I should talk about more than just the build itself because I'm feeling that like it's a little bit repetitive just talking about okay so now we're doing the bathroom I put this in and this in colour scheme this this whatever so it's a little bit boring for a while so um, I did want to switch up things a little bit and just talk about random stuff which I don't really do a lot in my bit of, oh my God, videos I actually used to do that a lot when I started just talk about random things but then I kind of realised that I should say more focus and then I went through a long period which I kind of am on now where I'm just talking about the purely the build and uh, but now I'm starting to go back into my older ways a little bit because I feel like that makes things a little bit more interesting and I'm not just repeating myself you know what I mean anyway that took longer to explain than I needed to <laughs> but um so here we are I try to keep well the mostly of most that like, on my words English <laughs> The outside was blue and I kind of want to continue that a little bit inside so I kind of kept like the brown and black colours and the blue on the inside for most of the area and then the two rooms which is the bedroom and the room those kept two different colours because I thought that because those are separate rooms I think that deserved well deserved really that wasn't the right word just felt like right having a different colour in that room which I mean wasn't a big deal really but just thought I'd mention that so as I've seen the bedroom is a little bit brighter um because you know I do really like your colour and I use neutral colours in pretty much every video so I wanted to include that somewhere because I mean that's me and then the bathroom which is something I've been doing a lot is using a lot of more darker colours in the bathrooms I don't know why it just seems like a nice uh, colour combination that I'm getting used to so I mean I suppose that's only that's good really because I'm you know switching up my styles of building and things which I really need to do I want to do more community lots and things because I feel like a lot of the time all I really do is like residential lots and they're pretty basic as well because I don't really have good building skills but I have actually been noticing my building skills to improving at least I think because I feel like I'm doing a lot a lot more builds now and I'm watching a lot more speed builds as well I think it's really good two tips if you're wanting to improve your building skills is to well practice a lot and watch a lot of speed builds um and you know you just get tips and ideas and things that's a really good way to do it um so what i was going to talk about now well i'm just doing finishing touches and stuff um i didn't really have a huge big problem with sticking under the twenty two thousand limit in this build actually which i was kind of happy about because most of the time it's just a big stress trying to do a start at home trying to get under the twenty two thousand limit i think it is twenty two thousand. it might be twenty thousand. don't know oh well <laughs> you could take a couple of paintings out if you really want to download this and it's too much um but i, I think it was just under twenty two thousand, so I, I, I'm, I'm pretty sure it's enough anyway um so i'm just going around with paintings and stuff um and yeah so i do have a computer in there which is great because a lot of the time with my start at homes i try to put too much decoration into them as stuff like that and then I don't have a lot of money left to do you know the actual skill building items like um like an easel and things like that so it was good to have a computer in there and also I gave some lot trades for this lot which I also well I kind of forget to do that a lot this one I gave it faster internet because of the computer and it's not really a good computer so I thought that would kind of enhance it a little bit um what else did I I think I put homey as well which for kind of building skills um like around the house um well, household-based skills, I suppose. I think you're the one with Chef's Kitchen because I feel like it's about... A, oh, my God, I can't speak. It's a bit of a low-quality kitchen, so I thought that would be good for enhancing meals and things. I think that works. It might not. I hope it does because that would be a waste of lot of Um So, yeah, I'm now going in with the landscape and I had to delete a couple of paintings, as you might have seen there, to be able to afford everything because I kind of wanted to make the landscape look okay. Um, and what I did for a lot of this was actually using the cheap apps and skilling them up, which is a really, really good idea because um, what I'll do with a lot of the time, if I want like a big like area of plants, I'll just use those um the smaller ones sometimes if you don't have a lot of money but you could use the smaller ones use them and scale them up i think that's a good idea to i'm just going around with some you know just random stuff here and we are pretty much at the end of the video now so let me know if there's any other types of videos you want me to do in terms of speed builds because i'm starting to run out of ideas in a way i mean i do have a couple more like written down um for future videos but i mean like i need some more original ideas to do anyway that is it for this video i hope you enjoyed i'm gonna leave you here with the screenshots if you did please make sure you leave a like share and subscribe if you haven't comment down below with those ideas like i said and let me know what you thought about with this build you could also leave some construct con oh my god english again here we go constructive criticism in the description because i think that'd be a in the um, in the comments i mean because that'd be really useful for helping me improve for my next build so thanks for watching and i'll see you all next time bye